What's going on guys, thanks for tuning back to another video where today I am going to show you another tutorial on how you can use Fraps to record your gameplay, record your screen, your computer screen, whatever and I'm going to teach you how to use all the uh, best settings and all of that and this was suggested by Awesome Gamer so shout out to you and yeah I'm going to show you how uh, you can use Fraps so first of all obviously open up Fraps on to well on to, on your computer and then it will come with this as a fraps general and if you don't have fraps i'll also leave a link in the description to get fraps absolutely free full version um but yeah so we'll open up fraps and then you'll have um four um option tabs thing that says something like that so yeah you have general fps movies and screenshots it's very simple to use there's not much um things to explain but uh, as i said i will still explain it for you guys who are new to it um so yeah this is version 3.5 it will say in, in generals it will say your registration details this is not mine obviously i got for free so this is someone else's um the version is 3.5.99 built 15.618 and yeah so go into general obviously you uh, open up with general it was there will be like uh one through six or is that five yeah that's five options it's a stock frap minima fraps minimize so if you hit record then it goes straight to minimize you can tick that if you want you don't have to fraps window always on top i always tick that run fraps when windows starts say so once you logged on to uh once you uh, open up your computer and logged into your account if you want to ru uh, run fraps then tick that i don't really only when i want to record then um I open it so I don't really want to uh, run fraps when I open it and then monitor error desktop so that's basically the the basically uh, recording the desktop right here which I'm showing you right now so tick that and minimize to system tray only so you can click that if you start recording and all that so yeah that's, so that's just basically a general you can tick whatever you want very basic stuff so anyways let's move on to the FPS and this will come uh, what will come up with this so first of all we'll say folder to say benchmarks in so this is basically all your FPS stuff where you want to save in or automatically save and as you can see it will say where you save it so mine's in my documents fraps and in benchmarks so if I quickly go on to um, documents real quick let's just minimize that so if I go into documents then it says fraps for which is right here is already so once you installed it then it will come up with the fraps folder with all this stuff and it will come up with all these files and also out here will come up with these files sometimes it comes so click on fraps and benchmarks and it says all your FPS frame rates and all that fraps log and stuff like that but that's not really important but you can obviously see it and all that so the next thing so let's minimize that the next thing in fps so you can change that if you want if you click change right here then you can change where you want to save all your uh, benchmarks or you can view to actually view it but i just opened it up as you can see it'll open up with this and then browse whichever folder you want to save in but i'm just going to cancel that and then the uh, benchmarking hotkey is f11 that's um the default you don't really need to click f11 you don't really need to know this right now so yeah you can just leave all that and also the benchmark setting you can do your fps and frame times uh, don't take min max average uh but you can if you want to not um you don't have to and it'll say stop benchmark after 60 seconds you could do that and obviously if i come over there it will say the overlay corner so as I, as you can see i hit uh, hide overlay but if i click on this if i click on uh, that corner right here you can see this right here which is the frame times the fps right now it's kind of bad because i don't know it's, it's kind of bad for now because I don't know. I think I have too many profiles open in my thing, so that's why it's like I think that's frame pens and all that stuff. And yeah, so you can change your run if you want to overlay in the right, overlay in the bottom right, overlay in the bottom left, um, or you can just hide it if you don't want to show your FPS like that. So yeah, that's another thing. Um, but I'm just gonna keep a high over. Next thing is movies. So this is how you record and all your stuff. So it will say the folder to say movies in. So mine's in documents, fraps, and movies. So if I go to documents real quick, so documents, fraps right here, and movies. Then as you can see here, this is the one I'm recording right now. I'm still recording, so you can't click on it right now. But yeah, it will save like this. It will come up with D uh, D W M. Um, if it's for a desktop, if you're recording a whole desktop, it will come DWM. If you're recording like a game, then it will come. And to record a game, so if I go back on my FPS, as you can see the FPS, if you open up a game, any game, it will go straight, the FPS will go straight onto that game. So you don't have to worry about, oh, I want to record a game, not desktop, whatever. It will go straight onto the game, so you don't have to worry about. And if you want to record desktop, don't open any games, because it will go straight onto the game. Um, but yeah, so if you go back on movie, then it will say, 
a video capture hotkey which is which is the record button so i mine set to f9 that's the default i live in um uh, f9 because um yeah so click f uh, f9 is to start recording at f9 again to stop recording and as you can see here is red red uh, if the fps is red that means it's recording if it's um, yellow that means not recording yet so just to say that uh, video capture size so if you want uh, to record in 60 fps 50 fps FPS, FPS, or lower, whichever you can change that settings. But I'm gonna keep on 60. Then keep uh, on full size. Um, yeah, and a loop buffer length 30 seconds. You can le all leave that. You can also record your Windows 7 sound, so basically your desktop sound. So if you're playing a game, it will record the sound. Uh, you don't have to. You can untick, tick, whatever. Um, do multi-channel or stereo. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep on um, uh, stereo. Same thing. And then your record external output, which is your microphone you're using. You can untick your microphone if you want whatever um, and then you can click only capture while pressing space but I uh, mine's always working with microphone uh, you can also hide your mouse cursor so as you can see this mouse cursor right here moving uh, you can click that to hide it but you don't have to uh, lock frame rate while recording not recommended it will literally lock the frame rate so yeah um, just leave that and just leave that as well so the final thing, uh, so yeah, that, that's what, as you can see, is very simple, very easy to use. The last thing is the screenshots. If you want to take any screenshots, so the default one is on F10 right now. So if you click F10, if you're recording desktop with gameplay and you want to quickly take a screenshot, press F10, then it will um, record. As you can see, um, it, where it saves, so it saves in documents. Perhaps my screenshots. You can, as you can see, change here of view here. Um, as you can see, if I go on to that. And then go onto desktop, fraps, and then screenshots. You will see all the screenshots. I only have one right now, um, but yeah. So you can save all your screenshots there, and yeah, you can uh, save the image for a format. So I'm going to keep at uh, JPEG, so GPG. Uh, you can change it to PNG if you want, whatever image format you want. Once you screenshot it, and a screen capture include frame rate overlay on screenshots. You can, if you, as you saw, the frame rate. You can put that on if you want. Repeat screen capture every ten seconds. You don't really need that on tick. But yeah, that's pretty much it on how you can use fraps. Pretty simple, pretty easy to use, and yeah, as I said, I'll show you guys. Hope you guys did enjoy this video once again. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys did the help. And obviously, if you want fraps, down below in the description will be another tutorial, a link to show you how to get fraps free. Thank you for suggesting suggesting this awesome gamer. Um, hope it helped you. If it didn't, comment down below. If if you have any, uh, um, if you have any questions, uh, uh, comment down below and also comment what other tutorials you want to see in the future on this channel. Leave it down all in the comments. Thanks for watching again. If it did help, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, as I said, keep it in the comments. And I'll see you guys in a...